Hello, it's Ashley here. Welcome back for another episode of Stamp Create Repeat for Your Next Stamp. I'm gonna start out by showing you the card that I made for this week's process video. I will put all the products that I share in the description box and you can find them over in the Your Next Stamp store. So this is a cute little Christmas card that I made today and it is so glittery. I love all the glitter and I think that the nice kind of subdued and like toned down colors are really nice. So. I'm gonna start out by showing you what I used to make it. I used the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. I also used this Jelly Roll Metallic Gold Pen and I used that to do a little bit of gold metallic ornaments and also on the star and the little bunny's scarf. And then I used these Your Next Stamp Gumdrops. This is the Holiday Vintage Set. I used some red ones. I used this adorable stamp set here. It's called a cute holiday stack and it is such a cute stack of little critters and they are putting ornaments on the Christmas trees and they've got a whole bunch of cute Christmas items in their hands. And then there is also a coordinating die that you can purchase separate to cut it out. I used this really cool back panel. This is the star panel and you basically just cut this out and you put it on your card and you have a complete background for your images. And then it also has the little spot with the stitching kind of outlining it where you can put the sentiment. And then I used this Heidi Swap Glittery Marquee Love Paper. I purchased this from Michaels and that's where I used the glittery gold paper from. So I'm just gonna hold it up and get right into the process video. So to begin with, I'm going to take a white piece of cardstock and trim out this star panel. And I can totally save all those little pieces of stars for confetti, they're so cute, or for like little accents on my card. Now I'm going to stamp out my little image. It is so precious. It's like a whole image ready to go on a card and it's a complete focal piece. I love it so much. I'm just running it through my die cutting machine with the coordinating die. And now I'm just setting it on so I can see where to put my sentiment. So the sentiment's actually going to fit there perfectly. I love how it has that little spot on that card panel so you can fit the sentiment right there. And now I'm gonna get into the coloring. I'm using Copic markers and I'm starting out with Y38. I love this color for chicks. It just looks like a cute, fluffy, yellowy color. And I'm blending that out with Y35 and Y32. And then I'm gonna do the other chick with the same colors, Y38, Y35, and Y32. And this is such a cute image because you can color it up so many different ways. You can use traditional Christmas colors or you could use some cute pastels or some bright colors or like I did, I kind of went for like a rustic kind of like woodsy feel for it. And then for the noses, I used Y07 and YR14 for the little feet and the little um, beaks. Then for the red, I used R39 on the little poinsettia. And I blended that out with R14. And there's another stamp that is called the Cute Stack and it's an Easter one and I just fell in love with that image. So if you really like these long um, kind of like vertical images, definitely check them out over on the site because there are so many cute ones. They are so cute for bookmarks or any type of um, middle of a card. It just fits so perfectly. Then for the little leaf, I used G07, G24, and G12. And then I go back in with G05. And then I go back in with R39 just to darken up the dark parts of all of the little pieces. And then I went in with Y35 for the middle of the poinsettia. And then for the little bear's hat, I'm using R39 and R12. Then I'm gonna use some dark gray, so it kind of looks like a dark blacky gray. I used C8 and C4, and then I did the tip-to-tip -tip technique to get kind of a color in between both of them. And then for the red on the scarf, I used R39. and R14. Then I go back in with that same color combo for the top part of the hat. 
and then I use C8 and C4 for the middle part of the hat. And then I'm gonna do the bear. I do him in E57 and blend him out with E55. He is so cute. And I do do a little bit of flicks later with the darker color to give him some, what kind of looks like fur. First I go in with E53. And then I go back in with E57 to outline the darkest portions. And I go back in with E55 and then I go in and do the little flicks of his fur. Then I'm going to do some green for the tree. I use G05. I'm using the same color combo as the little holly berry leaves. So I'm just outlining all the parts for it. And one of the nice things that I always love about Your Next Stamp is lots of the images have really nice detailing on them and it kind of shows you where to color and where to put your darkest portion. So I love this tree. It has so much um, texture on it and it just looks so cute colored up. In last week's Stamp Create Repeat episode, I showed how to use some white glitter to make it look like snow and you can add snow onto your different images. So this would also be a really cute image to have the snow kind of on it. You could have the snow kind of on the poinsettia and you could have it on the top of the little chick's hat and the little bunny's hat and the little hat for the bear and you could have some on the branches of the tree would look really, really cute. So then I'm just going to do the top of all the ornaments in C4 and I'm doing the base of the tree in E57 and E55. And I'm just setting it on there with the gold glitter because it kind of helps me see what colors are gonna match nicely with that gold. And I wanted to do a little bit more um, kind of like brownie color. So I decided to do the bottom of the little tree holder there in E34 and E30 to make it kind of look like a goldy type of color. And then for the bunny, I use W3, which is a warm gray color, which is really cute for fluffy animals. And then I went in with W1 to blend that all out. And then I went in with R20 for the cheeks of the little critters. And also I put a little bit of R20 on the bunny nose, but later I make that black when I use the black jelly pen. And then for the crown, I use Y38, Y35, and Y32. Same as the chicks, which is nice because then it has a little bit of yellow at the top and the bottom of the image. And then for the white part of the Santa hat, I used N0 just to add a little bit of shading there. Now I'm taking my black jelly pen to add some accents. I wanted to do kind of like a lumberjack looking type of outfit for this little bear, make it kind of look woodland themed. Those are the kind of the colors that I went with and kind of my theme that I was going with for this image. So I used my black jelly pen and I just did some kind of like diagonal lines and then I went diagonal the opposite way. And then I go back in with my jelly pen and I color in basically every other kind of like little square, like every little triangle bit, so that I can make it look like that really neat little lumberjack type of feel for the scarf. And I'm just using my black jelly roll pen, and this one is, I think, the finer tip one. I think they have different tips on them. That one was a finer tipped one. And then I'm going to go in to do some of the ornaments. So I'm using R39. And I'm just alternating between the ornaments. I want to do some of them in a gold color as well. And then I go in with R14 for the ornament. And when I was doing that, I should have waited until I was all done the image to do the scarf because they actually smudged a little bit of the black onto the bear's face. But later, I go back and just add some black little dots on his face. And it kind of just looks like his little whisker marks, which is cute. And so I tried to cover it up a little bit when I with the brown colors and it looked okay. And then I used my black jelly pen for the eyes, the nose, and also the eyes and nose of the bunny and the chicks. Now I'm just going to do the bottom part that they're standing on, kind of like the ground. So I'm gonna use a brown color so it looks like hardwood. So I'm using E57, and then I go in with E55 to blend that out. 
Then I'm gonna take my white jelly pen and add a little dot on the cheeks of all my critters, and then I just add a little bit of dots and accents on the different images on the little placenta and the little holly leaves there, and then also just on all the little accented critters and also on the little ornaments. Then I'm going to take my gold jelly pen and I started to do polka dots but I didn't really like how that looked so I just colored it all in and did kind of a striped look and I think that looks really cute and that this is the gold jelly pen it's also by Jelly Roll. And I just did every other one and left the other parts white and then I also colored in the star and then the ornaments as well. And just be careful if you're using the jelly pens not to smudge them until they dry. And I think that looks so cute. Then I'm just taking my white jelly pen and adding a few more little accents. And then I just wait for it to dry and then I add the accents on the star and all of the ornaments. Now I'm going to take all of my pieces. I have an A2 sized card base and I have that glitter paper. So I'm just using my scissors and trimming it out so that that can be the top layer on my card base. And I'm just using my ATG gun to adhere that down. And then I'm going to adhere down that little star panel. And that looks so cute. And then I can adhere on this cute image. And then I'm going to take the Your Next Stamp gumdrops and I'm going to put three red ones right underneath the sentiment. So that was my simple card for this project today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I would absolutely love it if you took the time to leave me a comment. If you haven't, please make sure to subscribe and head over to the Your Next Stamp YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye now.